the last thing anyone wants is to end up in a toxic relationship or with a toxic partner. Yet so many people have found themselves in this position. Some don't see it coming because toxic partners can take on different forms that many people either ignore or worse, think they're actually signs of a healthy relationship. Today, I have 13 telltale signs of a toxic partner or a relationship that I want you to be aware of, know what they are and become mindful of them. Being aware of these signs will make it easier for you to claim back your power and draw a bold, heavy line around what's allowed in your life and what gets closed out. My name is Sharifa Namsisi. I'm a marriage counselor and life coach, and I'm here to give you some relationship insights and advice so that you can have better relationships. Before we get into the signs of a toxic partner or toxic relationship, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for your love and support. Toxic sign number one, all the work, all the love, all the compromise comes from you. You see, nobody can hold a relationship together when they're the only ones doing the work. It's exhausting. If you're not able to leave the relationship, give what you need to give, but don't give any more than that. Let go of the fantasy that you can make things better if you try hard enough, work hard enough, say enough or do enough. If there is no effort to love you from the other end, the relationship stops giving and starts taking too much. Toxic sign number two. Passive aggression. Passive aggressive behavior is a way that people express their discontent without having a conversation about their problems. Instead of saying something outright or out loud or something that's actually upsetting them, a toxic partner instead drops hints and tries to nudge you in the right direction of figuring it out so that this way they feel justified in complaining to you. For instance, when a passive aggressive person is angry, they might repeatedly claim that they are not mad or that they are fine, even when they are apparently furious and not okay. You see, they keep denying what they are feeling and keep refusing to be emotionally open, hence shutting down further communication and refusing to discuss the issue. Passive aggression can be the most difficult communication style as you're not quite sure what you're dealing with. It's like an indirect attack or move for control on the other person's emotions. The toxicity here lies in stealing the capacity to respond or for issues to be dealt with directly. Their actions or behavior are actually designed to just manipulate you. Toxic sign number three. Toxic partners are self-centered. It is always about them. They don't think or care about how their actions affect others and they do not consider other people's feelings or needs. They only focus on getting what they want. They will want you to do whatever they want you to do. They will want you to go wherever they want you to go. They are unlikely to compromise or consider another person's opinion. Toxic sign number four. They are very controlling and they always feel entitled. One of the most dangerous traits of a toxic person is controlling behavior. They will restrict you from spending time or contacting your friends and family or limit resources like transportation or even access to money. You can only move if he's around. You will only go somewhere if I accept or if I am around or if I am going with you. Toxic sign number five, it always feels bad, all the time. You fall asleep feeling like crap and wake up feeling just as bad. The relationship or your partner drains the life out of you and depresses you every chance they get. Toxic sign number six, physical and verbal abuse. These are the biggest deal breakers of all time. Toxic sign number seven, excessive jealousy or displays of loving jealousy. See, when you feel jealous, you resent someone else from gaining what you already have. And this can manifest itself in spiteful attempts to deny them access. If you keep getting pissed off when your partner talks to the opposite sex, you keep hacking into their phone or email account, you keep looking through their text messages while they're in the shower, or even start following them around town and showing up unannounced. FYI, this is not proof of love. 
It surprises me that some people believe that if their partner isn't jealous, then that somehow means they don't love them enough. These displays of jealousy are nothing but controlling and manipulative, and they transmit a message of lack of trust in the other person. And we all know, if your partner doesn't trust you, there will never be stability, never. Talk six sign number eight, the lies. Oh my God, the lies. Lying, cheating, and other deceptive behaviors dissolve trust, and they taint the emotional honesty that a healthy relationship requires. Of course, everyone tells white lies every now and then, but saying I love your hair when I don't is different from consistent dishonesty. No limba. No limba about where you're going. No limba about where you're coming from. No limba about who you're with. I'm sure we all know that once trust is gone, it is hard to get it back. It might come back in moments or days, but it's likely that it will always feel fragile, just waiting for the wrong move. A relationship without trust can turn a strong, healthy person into an insecure, jealous, and suspicious partner. Toxic sign number nine, toxic communication. I've broken this sign in two parts. Toxic communication part one. Instead of treating each other with kindness, most of your conversations are filled with sarcasm, criticism, or hostility. Toxic partners also have a tendency of continually firing shots at you based on your past every time you get into an argument. And they never listen. They are always the ones doing the talking. This is a way they control, shame, and manipulate. Healthy relationships are supposed to nurture your strengths. Toxic ones are the ones that focus on your weaknesses. Toxic communication part two. In a toxic relationship, nothing ever gets resolved because any conflict ends in an argument. There is no trust that the other person will have the capacity to deal with the issue in a way that is safe and preserves the connection. When this happens, one's needs get buried. And in a relationship, unmet needs will always feed resentment and bitterness. Toxic sign number 10, holding the relationship hostage. When one person has a simple criticism or complaint, the other one blackmails them by threatening their commitment of the relationship as a whole. For instance, if someone feels like you've been called to them, instead of saying, I feel like you've been called to me sometimes, they will say something like, I can't be married to a person who is called to me all the time. The toxicity here lies in holding the relationship hostage because it amounts to emotional blackmail. Even the smallest hiccup in the flow of the relationship results in a perceived commitment crisis. It's crucial for both people in a relationship to know that negative thoughts and feelings can be communicated safely without threatening the entire future of the relationship. Without the freedom to be honest, a couple will suppress their true thoughts and feelings, leading to a creation of an environment of manipulation. Toxic sign number 11, codependency. Codependency is more than just being clingy or feeling needy or always needing extra attention. In a codependent relationship, one partner is the taker while the other is the giver. The taker will rely on the partner for extreme support and validation. And this kind of imbalance in the long run is going to create a high level of emotional distress. It is suffocating. Toxic sign number 12. The classic, I'm not walking on eggshells around you. You take everything the wrong way. You're too sensitive. You always overreact. You know, you've been made to feel like the relationship or your partner are just fine. But you, the problem lies with you and your misinterpretation of reality. This is nothing but manipulative behavior. Toxic sign number 13. They play victim and put you on a guilt trip all the time. Instead of being angry with them, they somehow manage to turn things around so that you're the one who's to blame. They change the subject and distract you, start to bring up things that you do wrong so that the focus is off them and onto you. 
Toxic people have a lot of unnecessary drama and they always think the rules do not apply to them. Please keep an eye out for these 13 troublesome patterns of behavior. They will help you identify signs of an unhealthy toxic tendencies in a partner or in a relationship so that when the toxicity happens, you know what it is. You can label it. If you're in a toxic relationship, please address the issue and then do something about it. Setting boundaries is usually a good start. After that, check yourself. Sometimes you're the toxic person. Understand that you make mistakes. You hurt people. Take the necessary steps needed to heal. And lastly, be careful about your other relationships in general. The toxicity could easily come from a friend, a co-worker, or even a family member. If you have any additional signs, please leave them in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.